everyone. This is Bonnie Branham with Whimsical Art Painting Parties. And I was going to do a little painting tonight. I've missed you guys. We have actually been doing all of our mantle makeup paintings this week. And so this tonight will be our last night to paint with mantle makeup. And then we'll be mailing out our, um, our we'll have finished up our April and we will be ready to mail out May. So that will be going out uh, sometime, let's see, I think at the end of this week or next Monday, something like that, so that uh, so that you get them in plenty of time. I think it's at the end of the month, but anyway, we're a month ahead. Yay! Yay us! We are a month ahead, and you would receive your May uh, mantle makeup. In April so you'll have plenty of time to get it painted so that's what uh, we're finishing up tonight is the April mantle makeup and they are super duper cute uh, this is the last one that we're painting tonight and we're going to be painting this cute bunny that is done with uh, buffalo plaid and we uh, we finished up those tonight. I'll show you the other piece that we did on Tuesday night. And it was this one. And we finished it up on um, Wednesday. So we started it on Tuesday and then did the words on Wednesday. And one more, but Mike took it with him to cut out another one. And I don't have it here. So the other thing that we're going to be doing... It's March the 25th. We're going to be doing this as a virtual workshop. So anybody in the United States or really anywhere can do that. As long as you can cut your own pattern, it doesn't matter where you live or what country you live in. So um, that will be done on March the 25th in a private Facebook group. So, anybody that wants to join those. But tonight, just for fun, I'm going to make some little bunnies. And I asked Mike to cut these out for me. And see the little eyes? They're just going to be little brown rabbits. Have you ever drove in at night and in your front yard saw those little brown rabbits? Uh, and they, I just love them. I think they're so cute. So, I have a mama and a baby. And so, that's what we're going to paint tonight. And... I am not even going to paint, I'm not even going to base coat this white. It's pretty light colored anyway, so I'm just going to use nutmeg brown and some white and some burnt umber and somebody has moved my stuff. I have finished working on my paint room, I, on our studio. We rearranged and did a bunch of stuff, and I painted some cabinets. And we have this pretty uh, pale pink cabinet wall now. And I've been putting up some of the, rearranging all the door hangers and all of the furniture that's in here. So I'm trying to find things. But I'm going to angle this down. I only have about 30 minutes, 45 minutes to paint, and then I'm going to be painting with my mantle makeup group, so I have to uh, be ready to get busy with them in just a little bit. Uh, let me grab that. Like I said, I rearranged. It's been a whole week of rearranging. And I, I started on Sunday evening. No, I did it. I started it Saturday. Hi, Karen. Oh, thank you. Um, I, I had an interview this morning. So I, I dressed up a little more than I usually am. Because, you know, just being real. I don't look like this every day. I don't get dressed up every day, but I did this morning. 
so my cat is in here chasing a bow. There's one of my little bow pieces that's on the floor. He's having a fit over it. He's, he's been, he's beating up a, a paper bag right now, a gift bag. Like I said, things are laying around that don't have a place yet to belong. Okay, so I got that. I'm going to use my little round brush. And I learned this technique watching um, the create, let's see, Creative Canvas by You. And she did this little technique with her round brush. And I thought it would be cute to use on this because I want it to be a little fluffy. And I'm just going to roll it, like twirl it over and over in my in my finger just roll it as you know you can't get much of a roll out of that like two or three turns but that's what I'm gonna do and it's gonna make my little bunny have a furry textured look it's not gonna be completely smooth and I'm gonna go around his legs here I've got a little bit of his leg drawn and I'm gonna go around that and then I'm going to take the burnt umber, and I'm using, mostly I use apple barrels. Sometimes I buy the, I like Deco Art, and I buy those, but these two are both um, apple barrel. So where the leg, just to give it some shadow, I'm going to roll in that dark burnt umber. And... Then I'm just, I'm going to leave that a little bit darker there. And also, I'm just going to roll it along, kind of tap it along his paw there, his little foot, and under his neck, just to give him some texture there to make it shaded so you can see where where that shadow of his foot would be. And I'm gonna wash that off because I don't want it to be, the rest of it to be too brown. And I am gonna add in a lighter color. So now I'm just gonna go back with my nutmeg brown. And I'm not even painting a straight, I'm not even painting like strokes like that. I'm just rolling the edge of my brush and it, it makes a, an unusual texture and I have used this in a, a lot of different ways I've made snow I've made um, the sky I've made all sorts of things using this little technique and it's just the coolest little brush stroke and I I am a brush stroke painter. I don't, um, I don't, I don't know any other way. So I'm just going to come up here around his nose and I'm going to come around his eyes. I'm going to go ahead and fill in around the eye and we'll go back and fill that in better. But I'm going to twirl that. Are you all, I mean, we got, uh, St. Patrick's Day behind us and I am ready to decorate for Easter and get all my things out and I've already painted several of the um, Easter patterns that we had and I'm ready to decorate and so tomorrow I'm hoping that I get to decorate and clean up my house and make it all pretty for spring because it is time and uh, I'm ready. We've had we've had all sorts of interesting weather this year but I am ready for spring although it always brings along those storms like yesterday and unfortunately there was tornadoes but we we missed all of that. We did not have any bad weather to speak of. Uh, just rain and some thunder 
Um, but I'm just rolling this on. And if you look closely, maybe you can see the textured look in it, the little poofs that this that it makes when you're rolling it. Because not only is it looking, um, you know, there's little bits of it that are raised. And I'm not a fan of of raised um, paint because it takes forever to get dry and it leaves little hills in your paint. And I'm not, I am not going for that. I'm go just going for a smooth look, but a textured look. I don't want too many little hills. And I'm going to go around the edge and paint him up. And he's... Mike, you think this might be Buster? No. Um, you know, I should have painted Buster. Yeah. Mike has a story, a children's storybook that he wrote. It's not in print. It It's only in his mind and all the grandkids and nieces and nephews that he has told it to. But Buster has one brown ear and one black ear, right? Mm -hmm. I bet all the grandkids could tell you, and all the nieces and nephews could tell you what Buster looks like. Sometimes Buster changes colors. <laughs> <laughs> He's but, a chameleon. But, <laughs> He's a chameleon. Yeah, you're a <laughs> you're a comedian. Um, he uh, he writes that he wrote that little story up one time and. He's told it to the grandkids and all forever, and they are just glued to him because Buster gets into some trouble, and it's uh, life or death, but he comes out for the good, and he uh, goes home, gets back home to his mama. So he's coming along. He's going to look better once he gets a little of the lighter colors on him. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more brown just to have it wet because I do want um, I do want my bunny to be um, I want those lighter colors to be in his fur and if I'm not um, if I don't put some of the brown paint back on and make sure it's wet, then it might not blend just right. Now, I'm going to use this peach, uh, sun-kissed peach, and I'm just going to put a little bit of that and a little bit of brown on at the same time, and he would have Let's see, where would he have some, um, right around here, he would have some lighter colors. I'm going to get a little bit of that off, because that's a little bit much, but that's about all you need to, to make this work, is just a tip of that. And we're just going to keep a rolling and keep a rolling. And... Blending that in, just tap, tap, tap. And sometimes you can just hold on to it to give it that, get that roll going. So that's kind of what I want. I want to kind of smooth this out where it's not all together brown and it's not all together that cream color of the peach and then I'm going to pick up a little bit more of my brown and you just work with it until you like the color that your bunny is and I'm going to come down here on his feet and do the same and he's beginning to be furry a little bit more and more color to him and I'm going to just keep on patting and rolling it until I get it like I want it. 
and uh, I don't know, maybe you can't see. Hey, Julie. Oh, uh, well, I'll call you back. It may be tomorrow. I have a, another live tonight when I get through with this one that is a group of ladies that I paint with. So I may not get off the phone until until late, but I'm sorry I missed your call. I haven't been on because I've been doing this private group of ladies that are painting mantle makeup, and they will be done after tonight. So I can talk to you tomorrow, or it'll probably be later, like 9 o'clock before I finish or something. But I wanted to hop on and, and do another one before so now you're getting that textured you can see that lighter color of his leg this part right here and you can see the shades and i'm going to paint his ears a pink um i'm going to start with cameo pink and um that's just a ugh, it's oily shake 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 um I'm going to use that cameo pink to start with, and then I can add in some uh, different pinks if I feel like I need to. Now, it's just going to be that one side of his ear that you can see the pink on. And I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to run out of room to pick him up. So I've got just a little bit of pink there. And this would go along with your mantle makeup. It is not in our mantle makeup this month. But if you wanted to paint some of these to put on your, on your uh, entryway uh, table or on your dining table, your, you know, in your decorations, or even in an Easter basket, that you could... Even put them in your Easter basket for your kids. And so I'm going to pick up my my um, nutmeg brown again. And I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it across here. And I don't have much room for rolling. And then I'm going to pick up that dark brown again. And I'm going to pat it along the ear that has the pink on it because I want it to shade it. I want it to show that that ear is a behind the, the pink ear. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to get my, my light brown and I'm going to try to, to roll across there and down through here. But there's not enough room for rolling, so tap, tap, tap is the best. Because I don't want it to be all pink in the middle. I want his fur to show. And I'm going to just... But I still want that textury look, so I'm going to pat it. And so he's got a little bit like that. We can continue maybe adding... Just a little bit of the darker, that darker brown nearest the pink. I about wiped off all the pink now. So it's really just a little bit of trial and error. You just keep blending that in. And I'm going to put back, I'm just going to put some pink right on the end of my brush. And come back up through there. And add that back on so his little ear is pink inside and then I may have to let that dry just a little I'm going to paint around the outer edge of it and let that dry some um, but I did a I got to do an interview today with Tamara Bennett with um, 
Southern Adornment Decor. And we uh, talked about the, the process of going into business with uh, door hangers and painting and um, how we've had to pivot because of the COVID-19 and, and all the things that changed because of that. I'm going to let that dry. I know it looks very thick, and, and it is very thick. But I've got to, I've got to let it dry or I can't blend those outer colors right. So even though he looks a little bit funky right now. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that peach. It's sun-kissed peach. And I'm going to put a few more taps of it down here on his tail. And, um and blend that. I'm just going to pick up both colors because I want his tail to be a little bit light colored. Peter Cottontail. So that's him so far and I'm going to lay him aside and then I'm going to work on this, the mama. And I'm going to start on the ears with her. And I'm going to roll that on with the twirl of my brush. It's like you're uh, rolling. I can't think of anything that would be similar to this, but you're just rolling those colors on. And you can pick up two colors. I've got I've got the um, that light brown and that dark brown, and that's that's a cool way to make it um, to be two toned. And I'm gonna go ahead and well, I'm gonna go ahead and add in that little black dark help not not black but a um, dark amber. So now I'm going to come along his ear and I'm going to roll that on on the top part of his ear and see that sort of separates those two ears when you put that dark against the light, the lighter side. And the, another thing you can do is you can pick up a little bit of the uh, sun-kissed peach and just roll it right across the top of your ear where it would be above the the, brown, the burnt umber, the dark brown there would be above it and then your light because anytime you're shading anything you're shading you need at two Two colors, or three colors, really. You need, you need your base coat, which that was our nutmeg. Then you need your highlight, which is our peach. And then you need a, a darker color for your shading, and that was our burnt umber. So anytime you're painting something, pretty much a rule of thumb would be you need a highlight, you need a low light, and you need your base coat. So now I'm just going to bring that on up here, and I'm going to pick up my little bit of pink. Uh, I think you can see it. It's probably not real good. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put my fan, where did I do that? I'm going to put my fan over here on my, um, my baby, my baby bunny while I'm finishing up this part. Let's see. I need a, I need a paint. I need a bucket of paint to keep it from falling over. So I'm going to get one of these little, see my paint? That is coffee, a coffee holder. If you have one and you're local that you don't want anymore, I will be happy to take it off your hands. I don't want to pay a lot for it. I'll pay you $5. Uh, 
I'm trying to get a couple more of these. Uh, they were Keurig coffee cup holders, I mean coffee holders, and they make good paint bottle holders. So if you if you have one of those and you're not using it, give me a holler. Send me a Facebook message if you're local. I don't. I've found them at Goodwill and garage sales, and so I know people get tired of using them, or they quit using Keurig, or I don't know why they sell them, but I've been able to buy a couple of them, and they really are nice to set on the table and keep your paint in, for the most part, they don't fall through. So if you have one and you paint, there is a suggestion for you. All right, now I've got their little ear, and those ears came out a little bit better. I like that one. And you could add some more um, of the dark brown around the outer edge if you wanted. Just to, um, I think I'll I'll mix those together. I've got a light brown and a dark brown, and I'm gonna paint her ear with both. And I'm just dipping both my paintbrush in both of those colors, and then I'm I'm gonna roll it on out here, and then I'm gonna roll it on there. But these are fun to set. I mean, you could give these as a gift. It wouldn't take you. I mean, it's gonna take me less than an hour to paint this. I think I'm going to quit in less than an hour anyway. Um, but you could give them as a teacher gift for, you know, just a, a thank you for teaching your kids. Or you can give them for your, you know, give your best friend something. Or your mother. Or your mother-in-law. Any of the, you know, anybody that you care about. That's my fan in the way. Now I'm going to go back to that same technique. I'm going to roll it on. And if y'all are joining, please say hi. We're not going to be on long. I'm going to be done here in about 30 minutes and uh, maybe less. And I am rolling this paint on to give it a, a textured look, not just a smooth, flat line. And I am rolling, and I'm going to pick up that burnt umber now. And go in under their chin and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to roll it into that edge where the foot over where one foot is behind the other and I'm going to put some pats of it right in here where that is um, I don't know what those are called but the shape, the rounded shape of the the leg is, is there, and I'm gonna bring in a little bit now of the of the nutmeg and just roll it along. And when I join this side over here, I'm going to put a lighter color because you want to add, hi Kendra, you want to add a, a light color anytime you bump up against a darker color. So if you're painting this and you've got the darker side that I've done here, then you don't want to paint that the same color on this side. You want to use the nutmeg brown. And that was in this, that was in this, but you want to add another color on this side with the nutmeg that will give it that um, lighter, lighter color to give that highlight because that's where your, your shadow is behind that, that part of the leg. So I'm going to roll a little bit of the brown on first, and then I'm going to, I don't want to run up into the one that I just did, 
And then I'm going to pick up brown and the um, two colors, the brown and the sun-kissed peach. And I'm going to roll it along so that you can see the highlight of his leg. His thigh, maybe. I, I don't know my, my bunny rabbit parts too well. But it could be his thigh. And I'm just going to roll along here. And it's looking a little bit too light, but once it's dried a little, I can add in some more. And these are just cute setting on your, you know, if you have a tiered tray, if you're decorating with those, these would be a good size to do a tiered tray. You could do a little stand at place on your you know you could put it in a basket on your entryway table or your coffee table your you could tuck it in the decorations for your Easter table there is a unending amount of ways you can use these little things and if you're in our mantle makeup and if you're just joining Mantle Makeup is three projects per month that we add, we mail the blanks to you. We email you three digital patterns and we do three tutorials on how to decorate your, I mean we, I'm sorry, we email three tutorials on how to paint each of your pieces and then we email uh, um, we email the digital pattern and we do um, we email you what else no, we, f we do three Facebook lives showing you how to paint those pieces and we've got uh, painters that are all across the country. You're not limited to my location. You're you can you can paint from anywhere. The shipping is usually not more than ten dollars unless you're um, far away from Louisiana. We are in central Louisiana, and y'all can see I'm just pat pat patting across my colors now, just to give it some. Um, texture and it gives it that little um, furry look so I'm I can still roll it or I can just use my paintbrush and and do that that roll it along or I can tap it like that and it's just tap 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 to work and blend in that that um, those colors. Now I'm going to wash my paintbrush off and I can't keep up with anything tonight. I think I'm tired. Um, we're going to just use the brown because I've got quite a bit of that dark and I want to come back over it so that it's not the whole rabbit covered in that dark brown. I just wanted that in the colors where my, where his leg, what, you know, where you would have seen that, that leg like that. So he's moving along. He's not got a tail colored yet. We can, uh, we can go back to that in a minute. So we're, we're rolling it along. Just a simple technique I watched and learned. And you can pick up a little bit of that pink again, that peach, not pink, peach, and just roll it along so that he's just got some shadows and fluffy colors and it just gives it that that little fluffy look. I'm just going to go up here on his face and I'm going to paint around his eye because I don't want to paint it all in and I'm just I'll come back 
around his nose and all. And I'm just, now I'll go back to that. But I'm just getting a tiny touch of that of that peach on there so that it'll just kind of shadow his, uh, highlight his, his forehead. And it's coming along. It's taken less than an hour to paint that up. Um, and we have a cute little pattern that you can set on your, uh, in a basket or on a tray, on a, anything. And if you are interested in joining Mantle Makeup, if you will just look around on our page, I think it's clipped to the very top, so you don't have to go too far to find it. And then you can, we teach those brush strokes like I'm doing tonight. We teach those. So as I was talking in the interview today, I learned these uh, almost 40 years ago, uh, almost 40 years ago that I started um, painting and I've just, I've quit and I've started back and you just, once you learn these, you don't, they're not gone even if you're not using them. A little practice and you're back on right where you were. So I'm dipping two colors and kind of double loading. It's definitely double loading, but not in the sense that you want them to be um, one side on be black and one side be white, you're going to have a mixture of blended colors there because we're making our little our little pom-pom uh, on his tail. Alright, I'm going to kind of smooth out a few of these. Some of them look a little heel-y and I don't want heels on my paint because it, it messes up your drying and you got these little bubbly looking things. So I'm just going to smooth them out by patting a little if they're standing too much. You do want things to dry about the same amount of time. And I'm almost, almost done. That is just a quick little project you can do at home if you want the pattern for that you can get send us a note and we can give you the information but it's it's just for fun and just painting is a relaxing um, if it doesn't work out you pick up the brush and you paint over it and start again and it wouldn't be the first time that I have done that. Alright, let's see if I missed anything that's too obvious. I didn't paint. I'm going to put both of those colors on this back. So, I like to paint my outside edges because they're not burned with a laser. So, they're, they're very... Clean. So I'm just putting two colors on there at the same time and blending them along. Yeah, I didn't do any of them on that one. This is not my favorite part. But I'm going to fill this brush up and move right through it. So this is, uh, you know, these would be good little projects for your kids to do when they're out of school for Easter or whatever, or a little Easter party that you plan for your kids. That this kind of thing would be good. And kids are good at painting. They they have a lot more creativity because nobody's told them yet that they don't. And when we get older. 
we lose that because we quit. But if you learn it and you practice it, um, it will come back to you and you can enjoy you can enjoy art. I've had so many people tell me that they felt better when they left than when they got here because they relaxed. And I've even had people say, it was like therapy. Now, I don't pretend to be a therapist at all, but just that feeling of relaxing with friends. We do paint parties too. And so when you have your girlfriends over to paint, it just releases some of those. I read the other day that it releases chemicals in your brain that relieve depression. And while I know nothing about that, that was what the article said, that there are endorphins that are released. It just is a feel good. So while it just seems like it was a lot of fun, there's really something going on. And I started painting when I was, um, I had kids at home, babies. I started painting when my youngest was just 18 months old. And I needed something because, you know, when you have an 18 month old, you're just got somebody wanting your attention and touching you all the time. They are all the time wanting to be holding on to you. And sometimes mamas, they need a break. And I was looking for something to do. And I came across this paint, this lady that was teaching art lessons at a local church. And I joined and it was the best thing I ever did. I think back then it cost $35, and that was a lot. I did not have $35. I was a, um, a young bride. We had been married a few years, and we had one baby and one... We had a 18-month-old. I guess we had been married about three years or something. We had an 18-month-old, and I had... Just found out I was going to have another baby. And that's when I took these classes. And it has provided extra income for us and something for mama's sanity. And I have, um, I've always enjoyed painting. And now that I'm retired from my other job, I was a children's minister for a long time. I became, I mean, I took a, the, I started doing the door hanger paint parties, and those were a hit until COVID came, and then we had to pivot, and this is where we pivoted to. We started, um, we started doing our paint parties online, basically. We started teaching lessons online, and, um. Let me get this eyeball painted before I run out of time. Thank you, Kendra. Ken Kendra? Where are you from? I think I've talked to you before, but I can't remember. That's my grandma brain. Um, so, I think their little eyes are pink. I don't know. I think sometimes. And, um... I'm gonna I'm gonna paint these pink. I may grab my iPad. Is it in here? And look and see what color their eyes are. Maybe they're white and pink. If anybody knows, and I'll paint his little nose while I'm close by, and he's gonna have a pink nose. But I am gonna pick up a little bit of that peachy color just to um, kind of outline it. And then I need a little bit of white. Mississippi. Okay, did y'all have bad weather last night? Are y'all good? I know there were some tornadoes in that in Mississippi, but I don't know exactly if they were in the lower part. I mean, I know they weren't in the lower, but if they were middle or high, further up near 
uh, meridian or in that direction. We were all very concerned about the weather yesterday, but it, it settled here and we only had rain. We've all had weather. We've had hurricanes and snow and two hurricanes. Um, I don't know. We've had a lot. No damage. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm happy for that. I'm glad y'all didn't. Um, yeah, we've, I think we've all are we, weather weary here. And then we had a, a week long freeze back in um, February and snow and all the pipes and all the, our water districts were, had broken frozen lines. So, so many people were without power. I mean, water and power. Both. We are located in Louisiana, in central Louisiana, in Pineville, right in the middle. Um, hey, Mike. Let's see if he can hear me. I'm going to get my little, this number eight brush, I use it all the time. It's just a, a fairly cheap brush, but I, I use it for everything. I think I could just about paint anything with just this brush. It's not fancy at all. It comes in a pack of like 12 for $6. I just want to know what does it eye look like. Mike! And I, oh, I don't see my, I don't see my iPad to fix it. Um, let me give him a pink, uh, a pink nose. He's so cute. He's a little Easter bunny. Let me grab my iPad because I don't want to give him a pink eye. He's got a black eye in the middle of it. Hey, I got a job for you. That's what I want to know. I want a picture. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> I'm sure he was like, are you crazy? So, you, know, you could display him on your, on a little table like that. He'd be like mommy and baby. You could, I don't know if you could tie a, a bow around it. But, yeah, I'm, well, I'm doing a brown bunny, so tell me what a... Oh, they don't got... They don't got no pink eyes. They got brown eyes. Blue eyes. I hmm. think there are some that... Their eye, eye brow... I mean, they're around their eye is... But they got blue eyes and brown and gray and... I think they're pink. Okay, we're going to reverse that a little. <laughs> They are. You can make it black. Yeah, well, no, I think I'm going to leave it the pink and just put, put a, a I'm going to use a blue bonnet. Like a blue eye? And make blue it eye bunny? kind of a blue eye. I don't know. He may still be, he may have, a, and all of this, almost the whole thing. No, I don't like that either. I'm going to. We'll get it. I haven't painted these before, so we're painting on the fly for sure. What it's going to be. Oh, I have it. I'm going to just paint his eye black. Uh, and I don't need but a little. Now this one here kind of has a Kind of pinkish. Yeah, the eye, the, the eye lid has that, but not so much. The, and so does the ear. 
And they have a pinkish. Well, I got that part done right. Yeah. So I'm just using, this is a long skinny brush and I got that black blue in there too. But that'll just give us a little shading down at the bottom. And I'm gonna bring that on around. So we're kind of winging this one. And then I'm gonna come back over here and do this one. Now that one I don't have any pink on. And really you don't have to because if you do black, I think you'll be in good shape. But the outer edge of their eye does have some pink on it in a lot of those pictures. But it's not, um, okay. I'm just kind of making a circle without You know, circles are not always easy to make, but if, as long as you turn your paintbrush around as you go, turn your the bristles of your paintbrush. I'm gonna make this one go down a little bit further. All right, now like that. I, I'm much more happy with that, and. I was planning to go back and put a little bit of a little bit more brown in here and pick up a little bit more of that dark brown just a little further back in his toward his tail because it's very light up there but then it's I don't want it to go light all the way to the back so um, I'm going to do my little roller, and I'm just doing this, and just rolling it over in my fingers one time, and I've just about run out of, of my paint. I'll put a little more brown on it, and that does, when you mix those colors in there, then that's where you get your, your shadow and your to make it look like the fluffiness is really just having those um, the, both of those colors as they are laid down on your wood they they kind of you don't have to blend them together you can try to keep them from just going away into one different color brown so that's all there is to that. They're very simple. Roll your brush. Who would have thought? And there's mama and baby. And you know, if you want to take your long brush and anytime you have, I mean, it's always good to put a little bit of shading here and there. But I'm just going to if I don't like this, I'll undo it. But sometimes I just like to put a little a wiggle. And it just sort of, uh, if you can see that, but it sort of highlights that part of his leg and makes you have that, you know, it adds to that little puffiness. Don't want but a tiny, though, so I'm going to brush most of that off. And, you know, you can do one here by his cheek and then over here by his back and you can always do this and just do a little wisp around in his beard I mean his beard yeah, y'all say a prayer for me I'm cuckoo his puffy little tail not beard a wrong end okay now there we are he can't quit without a little highlight in his eye, or he would not be happy. So, I'm putting a little highlight in his eye. And you can put a little highlight on his nose. And 
These could be used in conjunction with our mantle makeup because it will be about Easter. And, or you could, um, you could use this and add to mantle makeup after Easter is finished. So there are your two bunnies and it's all in little brush strokes and that's what I'm doing. I'm teaching brush strokes. If you want to join our mantle makeup or our workshop where we do the spring hello spring truck you can join that there's a link on our page it's pinned at the top of our page and you can also do our mantle makeup and get three projects a month to decorate with so y'all have a great night thanks for watching and uh um, you saw me on, okay, so, yeah, I got to do that with Tamara today. It was so exciting for me to meet her via Facebook, but to be uh, there and, and get to tell about where we've been and how we've started this business and what was going on with it. So, I'm glad you watched. So, y'all have a great night, and I will, I usually paint on Tuesday and Thursday, for sure Tuesday, Thursday, it depends on if it depends. So I got to paint tonight. So y'all have a good night. See you later. Bye-bye.